Hey guys, welcome back to Kevin's Game Room, and today we got another episode to Fears to Fathom. And what I've gathered so far from this episode is that you are a girl that left a gaming convention, and she decided to take the long way home just to skip traffic. So, and she ended up here at some sketchy hotel, it looks like. And you got a stalker. So, let's see. This may play time about 40 minutes. Let's get it started. Here's the Fathom, episode two. Norwood Hitchhike, June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creepy, or how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting out may help even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loved gaming conventions. I go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. Yeah, they, they can be pretty pricey. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over 12 hour drive. Yeah, that's a, that's a long drive. The furthest I've driven was about 14 hours and... Okay. Oh, I can get out right now. I think we just probably need to keep on driving. Ada Williams. <laughs> I probably don't need to uh, be reading, <laughs> texting, and driving. I'll have to do that later. Yeah, she is out in the middle of nowhere. There's Jams. There's Dad. Do I need to like stop and read these? Probably. Slow down. Alright, Dad. You called. Yeah, I think I'm going to, to, to that convention. Can I get your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden? That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. All right, here's Aiden. Discord. We got ticks. So, I'll see if I can get the car. Let you know. Finally going to take Milo on a walk, life out loud. All right. Okay, the plan is on. Heck yes. Wait, you're getting the car? Yup. Big girl. Sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord? Where are you? Almost there. I don't see you. Peach shirt? It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Again. You sure driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, Dad. Not sure it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here, either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yep. Okay, good thing nobody was behind me. Somebody probably jumped in my car while sitting there reading text messages. Oh, really? Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Yeah. Probably would have filled up before I left. Dad, send another text. All right, I ain't gonna stop now. I'm gonna keep on trucking. Dad, send another one.
Oh, who's that guy? I swore I just seen somebody walking through the woods. So it's like a pretty good spot. I don't even know what's <laughs> my gas thing's on. Did I even cut my car off? It sounds like it's running. Uh, well, I don't see it anywhere. Should be fine. Alright, it'll be alright. Hello, sir. Ma'am? Hi, can I get 10 on pump 2? You heading to the bridge by yourself? Bridge? Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of the, this time of year. Be careful, what do you mean? For about a century now, people have been going missing down there. The people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Cool. <laughs> hey dude. You heard about the Norwood Valley Monster? How's your night going? Where are you headed? Huh? Never mind. How's your night going? He just looked at me. Yeah. Okay then. That's usually I do to people too when they just like start bringing up conversations. I'm just like, <laughs> are you talking to me? And then I'll start talking back. I'm not going to be rude. And one more thing, if you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Why? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up hitchhikers. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what they what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Alright. Uh appreciate it. Said Alright, fella. You have to get busted up. Yeah, what you doing? What you doing to my car? Bro. Yeah, you better get on out of here. Got time for that crap. in my car. Did I even fill up? No, I didn't. Still empty. Can I even fill up? Where is pump to? Oh, right there. <laughs> Just gonna run over everything. Alright. Maybe that's good enough. There we go. Now we're getting some gas. I filled the tank and I was off to off to road again. All right, you here? Gee, road. Okay, <laughs> out of work. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. <sighs> Didn't even read it. Holly, mom, I don't know if you find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get some for Milo? I'll pay you back. All right. Oh yeah, let's see what Dad said. I told you to take that flight. Oh Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. I'll be all right, Dad. All right, now I gotta buy some dog food. It's a dog. There it is. That'll be five dollars, ma'am. There you go. Guess I need to put this in the back. Good enough. <laughs> It'll ride. Couldn't drive leave my stuff behind. What? Get it in there. There we go. Alright, let's get on out of here. I wonder what that dude did to my tires. 
Probably took like the stem out or something, so it just leak air. Being on the road, you do realize the thing. Monsters truly do exist, do they? And every single one of them looks just like you and me. All right, mom. Uh oh. Why my lights cut off? See you over this hill. I will be fine. Oh, is that that van? <laughs> Man, that guy's like, Jesus! <laughs> Wanna. <laughs> Golly! Wanna give that dude a seizure. Uh oh. God, I'll admit I was a terrible driver. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's getting out of here. <laughs> he's like, enough this crap. All right, well, got some light failure. But everything else is working. Oh, okay, the road just ended. It's going up here full blast. the radio now. Which that's okay, I was kind of getting tired of it. Dang, where are we? Yeah, I'll say she took the long way. She's going way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh God, I thought that was somebody standing there for a second. Dang. She be drifting around through here. Can I not turn the radio off? Okay, there we go. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Yeah, me too. It's kind of getting... Oh, God. <laughs> what was that behind me? I gotta turn the, the radio back on. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm gonna <laughs> listen to that. a very weird thing about the night. Saw two big logs in the middle of the road. <laughs> I would bash them out of the way. Alright, I'm getting out. There's like somebody behind. <laughs> it sounded like somebody was sitting in the back seat. Okay. I'll just leave my car here, I guess. I can't step over this log either. There we go. If I'm even supposed to go this way. Shouldn't have left the car behind. Had to move. Had to move logs. How am I going to move a log? I don't think I have anything to move a log with. Oh, okay. Dang, this woman's stout. Alright. Okay. Dang. No dude better be messing with this chick. I mean, she'll, <laughs> she'll put it on him. She can move something like this. Alright. Just sworn I heard somebody behind me. Oh, great. Car wouldn't start back up. Yeah, not what I... Not a good thing. Like, what'd this guy do? He, like, messed with the tire. It's just like I was sitting in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Terrible. It's 
terrible. Well, I guess I'm just going to leave the car. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche. Ah, crap, I couldn't read it. Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Oh, am I going to take a good ride from stranger now? At this moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Okay. Oh. 10.23 p.m. Yeah, that was pretty creepy, that car ride. Oh, I'm still sitting here, too. Here we go. Hold up. <laughs> Pure evil. <laughs> I think something wrong with you, woman. I don't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Well, he kind of went through the car. 10.43 p.m. 20 minutes. I bet this dude in his pedophile van is going to pull up now. Great. Now my car battery. It's dying. Can I not just turn the key off? Alright, here we go. Hello? Can I get a ride, please? There we go. Like a truck. You're the girl from the gas station. Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down can't call for help. There's no phone service. Think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Uh, just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Alright. Well, could you back up? <laughs> Great. only have two hands. Yeah. I mean, you don't have like a inventory where you're going to store everything? I think I see something over there. <sighs> Getting a little nervous. Alright, get your crap and let's go. Screw the car. Talk to you again. I need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, to hop in. Be quick. Yes, sir. It's whenever you're ready. So you won't tell me who you are where you're going. I was driving home. That piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. <laughs> what? <laughs> My name's Jason. I'm Holly. <laughs> I have to come up with like some Friday the 13th stuff. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you're one brave young woman. How's that? <clears throat> Excuse me. You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Uh, I think it was a battery. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? You really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen that monster for myself, but there are. There are some things. I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, you don't be bothered. Alright. Sounds like a deal. No, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. It's alright, dude. Not everybody is. Twelve oh eight AM. 
That dude was at the gas station for a long time. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out, out there, he said ominously before leaving. All right, let's see. Roadway Inn. Man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. <laughs> Gal need a room to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? 40 for single. Pay cash only. Alright, there you go. Creep. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. All right, there you go. Good, I'll tell Tommy now. Good, I'll tell Tommy no. Or now. Yeah. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. All right. Let's see, where's my room? Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to guess this one's it right here by this creek car. All right, let me get my room first. Except there was a smell, type of musky smell you get from old houses. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Dang, what am I supposed to do now? Ah, calm down. That was probably the guy, probably a maintenance dude in there fixing the toilet. And he kind of shut the door back on, on me pretty good, pretty fast. Probably need to go tell the motel dude there's somebody in my room. All right, dude. You have a great night's sleep. All right, well, you're not very helpful. I would at least said something to him. Be like, hey, there's a dude in my bathroom, in my room. I need to see what everybody wants. Uh, where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? What do you mean reroute? Not delivered. You gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. It's not expired or anything, right? Holly? Alright. Alright, dude. Yeah, I'm, uh, what are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking you. I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Got the front desk, gave me this room. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. All right, where is my stuff exactly? I guess it's way back over here. Yo, Tommy, you scared me. Here, make yourself useful. Uh, you a little happy, aren't you? Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. Don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Hee hee hee. But you have a good night. 
Alright, Bella. You are a little creep. I get the rest of my stuff. Yeah, Tommy's a little, a little weird. I bet he's probably the guy behind messing my car up. I bet they both are. I bet they got a van stashed around here somewhere. Oh, Tommy. Okay, I guess he's going to go get my car. Can I just, like, leave my stuff? <laughs> do I really need it? Or do they have, like, one of those dollies you can put it on? Just kind of scope the place out a little bit. Sure, there's nobody, nobody else up in my crib. I say you cleaned it up pretty well. Oh, great! Is this like another? I can creep out the the window and see somebody standing out here. Go to bed. Oh God. Okay. Called a foresight, but there was somebody very off. Of, there was something very off about this place. Couldn't help check the feeling that something wasn't right. Yeah. I mean, feeling tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. Something. A hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. Alright, let's uh where am I gonna get coffee? So I don't think we have any here. Make a run for it. Okay. We're safe. All right, let's go find some coffee. It's probably not a very good idea to leave my door open either. Should probably shut that. Should probably actually lock it. All right, got the coffee. Anywhere? Right over there, room number nine. It is. Okay, no coffee. Ah, here we go. Here's the coffee machine. Right here on the corner. I'm gonna be a creep now. Espresso. This doesn't seem like a very good idea. Soon. Oh, what just happened? Jesus. Really? Everything's backwards. Somebody just drug my drink. There you go. Shut the freaking door. Can't. 
probably. I guess. It's probably a bad idea. I probably should have went back to the uh, reception's desk. That was some pretty stout espresso, I'm going to say. 3.18 a.m. I was sedated. Yep. Sure were. Phone rings. Works. Why is there like a light or something over there? Hello? like this at all. It's way too dark. And why is that closed now? Yes. Can I help you? Who is it? Joe from front desk. Open the door. Yes. What's up with your face? Then I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up. I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? It's in the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of... I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Come this way, Joe. Come on. Uh, well, it's not here anymore. Here it is. Here's your espresso machine. What happened? Show me your coffee machine now. Well, it was right here. Go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. I said, go back now. Did you not hear me? I said, go back to the room and don't get out. Check the cable. Check the table by the TV. Alright, dude. I did not shut my door. And I know you didn't. I don't think this is a... What is this? Requires water. And where am I going to get water? I ain't getting it from the sink. The bath... In the bathroom. Because there's probably... Oh... Jimmy or whatever his name is probably back in there. I'll just get water from the vending machine. Great. Am I going to have to go back in the room? Something don't seem right about that room at all. Why is that cracked open? I don't like this at all. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. All right, just do it. Come on. It's not opening. <laughs> it's not opening. First of all, why am I...
taking pills that he had in a drawer. Like that should be a red flag. <sighs> Alright, let's go into the bathroom. Be tough. Be tough. Get in the bathroom. Get in. Shut the door. It's a sink. Oh. The door is wide open. Of course it is. Let's get some water and pop these pills that who knows what they are. I really want to do something with me now. All right, are you ready to go to sleep now? What's that? Somebody in my closet taking pictures of me. Should I leave? Should oh, there's somebody standing there. Oh God. God. Shut the door. What do I do? Hello? Peek through the hole? I see you, dude. Am I just like going to go to bed with some dude sitting over there? All right. I guess we're going to open the door and see what this dude is doing. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. All right, dude. I ain't falling for that. I know you're in there. Leave me alone. Can I hide like under my bed? What? <laughs> Just lay in the bed. <laughs> What right, do you want? Now you wait here. I'll phone this in. <sighs> ah. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. Oh, God. Laying on the bed. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> well, you got me. Uh, I hope I don't have to start over at the very beginning. Crap. <laughs> Dang it. Well, I will be right back. <laughs> I seen that that time. Yeah, I just saw a guy just walk in over there <laughs> after I left my room. All right, we're back. And whenever I was playing through it again, I seen where I was sedated and I woke up. I seen my closet door close. 
And whenever I was sending Joe to show him the vending machine, I seen the guy leave my room. So I figured somebody was going to be in my closet because it didn't seem right. Who is it? You want do nothing. All right, I guess uh, this time we're going to have to hide in the closet. Go away or I'm calling the cops. Shut this. I was about to make a run for it. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager feared not to get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with a car after what felt like a year. I never went on a long road trip again. I would always take airplanes. There you go. And there's my car. Nice. <laughs> that was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. Very creepy. Uh, I was right there at the end, and I made the wrong move. Went to the bathroom, <laughs> which I should have went to the closet. But I thought somebody might have been in there because it just didn't... After I opened it the first time and then it was shut later, something just didn't seem right. And luckily, as you've seen, somebody was in my closet, but he left. So that was it. That was Norwood Hitchhike. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me how I did. And subscribe if you like it. And I'll see y'all in the next one.